CataractCoach.com, the Omega Ophthalmics Gemini Artificial Capsular Bag. Here's more about this device. Now, if you're smart and you listen to our podcast, you would know that Dr. Gary Vortz, in podcast number 64, described an invention of his, an artificial capsular bag, basically, to keep the capsular bag open allowing you to exchange eyeballs very easily, but also opening the door to future innovations such as drug depot, or etc. It's a really neat idea. It was brilliant. And he described in the podcast, but then many viewers emailed and said, hey, could you send a video of it? What does it actually look like? Well, let me show you. Here's Dr. Vortz explaining in detail his device and showing you some surgical footage. Now, I think it's a brilliant device, and I think the uses are still to be determined. Yeah, easy exchangeability of any eye well, but yeah, maybe drug depot, maybe sensors in the eye to detect blood glucose. Who knows? Neat stuff coming. Check it out. And again, remember, you have to listen to the podcast. The podcast is the Cattle Coach Podcast. It's anywhere where you find podcasts. It's just an hour every Sunday. And the podcast is interviewing a bleeding ophthalmologist and learning all the insight about the future of our field, looking back. What was the key to success in your career? If you're a young ophthalmologist or even an older ophthalmologist like me, there's so much to learn. It's probably the most valuable thing I do. Check it out everywhere where you find podcast services. And now, here's Dr. Gary Vortz with the Omega Ophthalmics Gemini Capsular Bag Device. This is the Omega Gemini Capsule from Omega Ophthalmics. I'm Dr. Gary Wirtz, the inventor and co-founder of Omega Ophthalmics. The Gemini Capsule is a three-dimensional silicone ring. And as you can see, it goes in after the cataract has been removed and is like a stent. In three dimensions, it keeps the capsule bag open. And once it's open, it allows any traditional C-haptic eye well to fit inside of it, agnostic to brand. Uh, it basically prevents the anterior and posterior capsule from fusing and allows for future exchangeability. Another iteration to use the Gemini capsule is to put the lens in first, and actually, you'll see here in a second, once the lens is centered up, you can put the Gemini capsule on top of the eye well. This does a couple of things. Number one, it still prevents fusion of the anterior and posterior capsule, but now it allows that space still within the capsular bag to be utilized for other things like drug delivery devices, biometric sensors and electronics. So the future is bright, but we gotta have a space and a place for that technology to exist. Thanks.